Hello and welcome to Diet Dr. Pepper series. Here in the Gen 4 car, we are at Legacy Atlanta and heading out for qualifying right now. Gonna be interesting here. I did some practice trying to get a fast lap, but as rubber has been put down on the track, the high line that I've been running, it's a lot tighter. You have to lift off a lot more in order to keep this car out of the wall. So I'm a little I'm a little worried about overdriving this thing and ending up in the wall and having myself subpar run or even worse not being able to put a lap in. So I think I'm going to play it somewhat conservative. First lap. Just make sure that I can put a good decent lap in first. Okay. I'm running high side both ends of the track. I don't think that's actually where you want to be. But that's where I'm feeling most consistent, so that's what I've ended up doing. One more lap. We're in the four, so we'll push a little bit more this time. Man, it's so much tighter than I practiced. It's crazy how much slower the track has gotten. We'll try since the first half of the lap was not good at all. We'll try going down low. I think that's what most people are doing. Either low or midline. That didn't work at all, though. Yeah, I kind of messed that up. But I was just not feeling as fast. Not nearly as fast. With the new conditions of the track, I got used to it in one way. And then it just feels like it completely changed on me. I think we should be able to make the show at least. But my qualifying ground leaves a little bit to be desired. Look at that, Nick in P2. Very nice run. Kevin there in 7th. We are going to be P12 for now. Let's see if we drop any more. That's alright. I think I would have been better off taking the lower line or the middle line in 3 and 4. It's just that whenever I was practicing, I was enjoying the high line and then the conditions changed on me. But I didn't want to do anything too crazy different and uh, really mess it up. So That's alright. We uh, we're going to make the cut. We did a practice pit stop here. I gotta change my like pit settings. I uh, I had it where it would only show my pit stall. We'll do like this, I guess. I had it where it would show only my pit stall. I I went into the settings of the actual like folders in the iRacing thing. It's something Nick showed people how to do. Still a ton of participation, that's for sure. Everyone's loving Gavin's <laughs> league here. I sure am. I believe we're still P13-ish. 7-11 the cutoff line, apparently. There is no 7-11, though, so I'm confused. <laughs> 700, there it is. Okay. Wow, does that mean someone's going to miss out because of that little amount? I think I just watched the whole line move down one, though. So, we missed it a little bit in qualifying, but that's alright. I think it's really going to be important to save tires. So, hopefully we'll be able to do that back here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15th at the moment. And we're going to get started before too long. I believe that uh, track state will reset. That's the end of the session. P15. 
Here the numbers have shown up. Wow, look at that. That sucks so bad for the 25. Oh, that's so rough. Ten thousandths of a second separating making the race and not. I don't need to say anything. Well, he knows. An idiot <laughs> he knows it's brutal. My, uh, qualifying laps, so uh, yes, yeah, here so we are. Rough. So we got some fast guys that didn't quite make it. Let me adjust my volume a little bit. We haven't got that data. We haven't got that data. We don't have the data. Shane just left? Shane made the yeah, show, I thought. Yeah, he spun on lap one, didn't make it either. Shane, 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 Shane. Yeah, there he is. Maybe he's coming back. I think he said something. I didn't hear what he said. He might have said something where he's got to disconnect and come back. That's a heat race. A couple people showing up for the uh, quick little sprint here. It'll allow us to get the camera ready for later for incidents and all that. Man, very interesting to see how, like, scrambled it feels the, the, the field is. You got Tracy barely making it. P40. Mitch in 30th. You just got some really fast guys. A little bit lower down. Of course, you've also got some guys that have been qualifying very well. Also near the top still. John's the guy that won at uh, Rockingham, I believe. He's returned here and qualified second. Nick with an excellent lap. I think I would have been better off just uh, easing up a little bit more. With how tight the track got for qualifying, I think I just overdrove it. Catch up to car number 40. I just got so used to how the track felt with, uh, you know, completely clean track conditions that I, uh, overdrove it, I think, for qualifying. But again, still, we, we still got a decent start here. Um, did end up 15th. Well, good luck, boys. Let's give him a show. Still solid. We'll see what we can do with it. Got ya. We got a nice uh, field here for the heat race. Looks like two, four, six, seven cars for the three lap sprint. No transfers over to the to the feature or anything. This is just uh, out of necessity because of the way you have to set up these races as a host. But it also gives the guys that didn't make the cut a chance to uh, participate a little bit, do a little bit of a sprint race. If they so wish to. Okay, Colton, get ready. I don't need to get ready. <laughs> Crew chief. That's two minutes left. Two Unless you mean get ready to watch the heat race, which I guess we will do. That's not good. That's not how that's supposed to work. Oh my god, the whole field just got taken out. That was not the show I wanted to give them. Oh my god, that was amazing. 10-4 on that one. <laughs> that was great. That was great. But it was great. still awesome to watch. <laughs> okay, the start will do. Time to get to work. Uh, that was a good reminder for everybody. Let's be careful on the restarts here. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> very good reminder. These cars very unsettled. Of course, almost all the time, but Atlanta specifically, even in other cars, can be a little unsettled on throttle, so <laughs> very good reminder. Um, well, looks like Steven going to go on to win this thing unless Rod makes a hard charge, but everybody else taken out of it. That might be the greatest heat race I've ever seen. <laughs> Good stuff. So they are on the white flag lap. 
It is a war of attrition here. That was that was pretty gold. That was golden. I really hope that doesn't happen in the future. But Steven survives the Rube Goldberg machine that started this race off. That was something. All right. Let me make sure I got my settings how I want them. I do think we could potentially end up using break on entry later in the run. So I have that back. Warm up. Getting started here. I'm going to go ahead and skip this for you. So I will see you in just a moment. All right, we're back and we are getting onto the grid. I actually spent warm-up practicing my uh, launch, I guess you could say. Um, obviously, I couldn't do it on the actual part of the track, but I learned what the pace speed was on this screen here, and uh, just kind of felt what it felt like to get on the gas. It's not going to be one-to-one -one by any means, but maybe give you any idea of uh, how it's going to feel. So, we're going to want session last lap. We have about 41 laps of fuel on a full tank. I'm actually, while I'm sitting here on the grid, if I can, get out the old calculator. Go out there, buddy. 162 yeah, by 41. And have a good run. Very yeah, close good there, to making it the track temp is interesting. The air temp is 69 Fahrenheit. This could be a very interesting fuel race as well. Follow car number 40 in the outside column. I think we just go as long as we can. That's going to be interesting. Let's take some smoke. I don't think you guys want to be wearing these tires. We're going to need these. Going to be saving fuel from the start here. There's 162 laps. You know, theoretically, if this goes all green, which would be awesome, I don't know if it's going to happen, but if it does, I want to get the most out of these fuel runs, I think. I hope we can survive the restart. That uh, heat race made me a little bit worried. Nice and easy. Good luck, everybody. So, All right, here we go. Starting P15. You too. The pace car is off. Be ready. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Something's happening up there. I saw somebody get kind of sideways. Oh my goodness, very big check up into the corner. Uh oh, someone in the wall. That's sketchy. We clear outside. Whoa! Very close to me on the outside there. We got all kinds of stuff out of place here. People going all different kinds of speeds. This is very sketchy. Just trying to be easy on it. Not mean for that to be three wide there. 
I didn't realize there was someone on the outside already. Oh my goodness, this is sketchy. This is so sketchy. Big lifts off. Oh my goodness. Didn't want that either. I don't want to be three wide, but oh! Is that Nick? What just happened? Oh my god, that was amazing. You had the position when the yellow flag my wife just flashed on my eyes. That's going to be it for us. Everybody pass me. Reverse. Pass that. 16. Pass that. Usually a good idea to slow down when they're, when they're racking. Catch that. 46. Car. How would we wreck in the front stretch? Yeah, that told me. I would. Went to look left and then come up on him. Pretty much hooked him down the front stage. I'm trying to figure out what our aggression was coming from. Why people were taking a three wide? Crap. Yeah, I put you three wide because I didn't want to beat you behind you anymore. Yeah, it's uh, it was lap five. You can calm down a little bit, I think. Alright, Father, we gotta get going, boys. We gotta catch the big car. And just be going slow. Yeah, I get you didn't want to be behind somebody, but I had a roadblock in front of me. There was nowhere for any of us to go. I went somewhere. 51, are you able to get up to speed? Because we gotta go, dude. Sorry, Pretty much hooked. I uh, just car, look, went to look limit. right speed limit sure is 50 miles per hour. Team, 10. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Five. It's going to be over for us. Three, There's no way this car's two, getting fixed. One. Right here. <sighs> yeah, eight minutes. That's, that's over. What was that? It was like the Canadian wildfires up there. Just smoke everywhere. And That's unbelievable. That. That's... I'm just hoping I didn't get no damage. I've avoided most of it, but I did get hit a couple times. I'm not going to say anything. I don't think anything needs to be said. We're going to get it fixed. Left recorder's in a little bit. Oh, that's about it. Please get out of that base car. We can't go slow anymore, guys. Thank you, Gregor. All right, everybody, remember, nice, smooth restart. Why would you go on track 88 if you can't even get up to speed? Yeah, but I might need a block. I'm going to decide if I should even record the rest of this or not, because we're not really going to be part of the race anymore. I'm just going to be a lap traffic. I don't want to get wrecked. Or not wrecked, just get lapped down because i got to wait. Um, just kind of try to salvage what Anybody's I can. Anybody's way, way off the pace and damage, they should probably just pull it in. Like, we don't need to mess up this restart with a bunch of broken cars. 
Sorry about the wreck. I, nothing I could do about that. Yeah, sorry for even saying something. He was just going 45 when we were full track behind. Yeah, that's uh, that's all that's, that's going to happen this race. I might not even continue, depending on how the car is. So that's how this one ends.